What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfella back with the Boxing Clinic and more. Y'all know what it is. Shout out to the LDBC and the YTBC. We working. Final thoughts slash some weigh-in reaction. Y'all know how we do it. Um, and um, you know, for every major fight, we gave it final thoughts on it. You know, the Friday before the fight, if it's on Saturday. And uh, it was a high, intense uh, face-off. Rigging dial didn't flinch. Lomachenko shook his head a little bit. He didn't flinch. Um, should be a good fight tomorrow night. MSG still can't believe HBO petty enough with Peter Nelson to go ahead and go head to head with Rigan Dial Lomachenko with the Orlando Slido fight that I will pay zero attention to. Now, if it was with Miguel Birch, I, I would, you know, try to, you know, catch it or DVR it, but I don't care about that card. This is a historic fight. Two, two time gold medalists in one ring. Um, Rigan Dial came in at 128.4, which is obviously a career high for him on a professional level. Uh, Vasyl Lomachenko came in at 129 pounds. Rick and Dial look physically good. You know, uh, Pedro Diaz had uh, Miguel Cotto in excellent shape for Floyd Mayweather, and we've seen how how good that he outworked uh, Floyd Mayweather for the most part of that fight. And Rick and Dial looking in, you know, phenomenal shape. Lomachenko looking solid as well. And um, both, both, I think Lomachenko really got a lot of boiling blood, man, because Rick and Dial been spitting that high fire. And so does Rick and Dial for being mistreated by top rank. He's on, a, a, he's on a mission to destroy Bob Brown and top rank. You know, period. He wants to go out there and embarrass Lomachenko and take away this potential cash cow, which will never be a cash cow in America, in my opinion, with Lomachenko. He will never be amongst the most popular fighters until you really learn to speak English fluently, and that probably ain't going to happen. But that's what Bob Aram thinks, and, you know, Rick Dye wants to top of one more. And uh, like Virgil Hunter said in an uh, interview with Dante's Boxing Nation earlier, shout out to him, he said all the odds are get Rick, Rick and Dye. He said conventional wisdom is, um, paraphrasing there, is to pick Lomachenko because everything is in his favor and everything is against uh, Rick and Dye's favor. And that's right. The weight, the glove, they said the gloves, they picked the gloves. Virgil Hunter said he heard they picked the gloves, the ring side. Everything was in his favor. The judges, the A-side promotion, the network is all in uh, beside Lomachenko's favor. So people acting like, oh, it's, you know, like Rick and Dye was his uh, favorite because your fanboyism lies with Rick and Dye. Clear your mind up. Look at everything he has to topple. And um, he is a special fighter that can topple that. But if you, would you bet your life on it? Would you bet, a, would you bet your life on Rigadar winning this fight? Absolutely not. You know? Now, if things were more on an even playing field, the weight was a little bit more even, and, and he got, you know, he had, you know, both two was legitimately two A-side fighters making a big fight happen, then I would see, okay, you'd be like, I, I can see Rick and Dow, the you know, it's at 126, 124. You know, he got a good advantage. All the advantages in Lomachenko. You know, we did the predict, prediction breakdown already. Um, a breakdown prediction. Then we did another uh, breakdown part two POV yesterday. Uh, the prediction video was on Monday. If you didn't catch it, go go back and look at it. Um, I did pick Lomachenko by tip round stoppage. I just think the size is going to be a little bit too much. But um, I think Rigadal is going to have to do what, um, what Floyd did to Pacquiao. We know Lomachenko takes those awkward angles, but that's because his his foot, his lead foot is always outside of his the opponent's lead foot, setting, up, setting him up to be very accurate. This is going to be a battle of footwork. The battle of, uh, you know, jabs for the most part. I think Rigandau's jab got to be phenomenal, to be exact. This is going to be a battle of IQ and in-ring adjustments. Forget going back to the corner. This is going to be an in-ring adjustment type fight. The battle of the feet um, and, a, and whoever uh, in the pace. You know, I think those are three major things that I came up with, you know, just meditating and marinating through the week. It's going to be the feet, um, the pace, and um, the in-ring adjustments. That's what it's basically going to come down to. I don't really think anybody knows exactly 100% sure or even 90% sure how this fight is going to play out style-wise, you know. Um, it's, it's basically preference, you know. We think of what we know. Um, Momotango did say at the final press con well, at the, uh, the way in the day that, um, you know, we know Rick and Dial style, and I'm going to have to uh, run him down. And um, if he walks him, if he comes with that pity pass stuff, like like one of my guys said, man, Rick and Dial's going to punch with him, man. I mean, that's going to be the key, to punch with this guy. When he throwing pity pat, throw away punches, or just punches just to find the range, you 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 throw with him. And if he throws with him to the body and get, you know, just and he all you gotta do is tap the body to make Lomachenko wary of the body punches. And then once he goes upstairs, he throws with him, clock him upstairs with a, with a, with a head shot. He he can hurt him. Rickardal got elite power, and I believe his power still will be elite at 130 pounds. And a lot of fighters are back in Rickardal. Daniel Du Bois said he gonna win. Gary Russell said he gonna win. You know, Terrence Crawford was kind of in between because obviously his promotional company got the A-side of Lomachenko in this fight. And he told Lomachenko to move up to 140 if he wanted to get this work a while ago. And it's obvious that um, if you get him some truth serum, he's going to probably be pulling for Rigadon with Terrence Crawford because 
top rank is treating Vasyl Lomachenko like he's the pound for pound number one in most people's list. They treating him like he the A side. They treating him like he's the home country American fighter. They treating Terrence Crawford like 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 a rag doll in my opinion, a third rate guy. You know, it's more guys they promote better than than Terrence Crawford. Didn't show uh, a unification bout commercial or a promo with Julius Ndago until the Friday before the fight. You seen that mismatch with, with Lomachenko and Moraga run all the commercials ran all that week and the weekend before it too. They they was announcing it. So for obvious reasons, I think Crawford's not gonna come tell the truth. A lot of people want to see Rigondeaux win this fight. Now, me personally, I want to see Rigondeaux beat this fight. But like I told you guys yesterday in the uh, POV Breakdown 2 video, I have a, a duty and a justice to you guys to give you a you know, completely honest, straightforward answer about who I'm going to win. I watched the tape, and I, I vary some other things in there. And I think Lomachenko going to win. But my fandom lies with Rigondeaux, but I'm not a fanboy channel. I'm a straight, clear-cut, call the see channel try to be honest and truth and base all my opinions based as many fact based on as many facts as i can but this is gonna be a barn burning right here man this is gonna be a good fight if you like tactical uh you know tit for tat if i think down the stretch like crawford said it's going to heat up and it's gonna be a fire fight and uh lomachenko said he don't be surprised if rick Dog quit rick Dog said he gonna beat his hind side i mean this this is a great fight for boxing fans it's a good way to end off the year then next week obviously we got you know jeff horn returning and lemuel and saunders we